He's written books, he's created legislation, and co-founded a website that is also trying to change the relationship between Photoshop and advertising. And um, most importantly, he's a dad, and he didn't like the way his daughter was seeing herself. So um, that's, that's a little bit about Seth Matlin. So thank you for coming out tonight. Yeah, my pleasure. So, our bill, the Truth in Advertising Act, was introduced with bipartisan congressional support just, just over a year ago. And I was preparing for the congressional briefing on the bill. Um, and I was putting Ella Rose, my daughter, to bed. And she turns to me and she said, Daddy, do you think I'm ugly? And my heart shatters and I stumble for words and answers that I don't have. And it's like, did somebody at school say you were ugly? She's African-American, that comes with all different challenges in our culture, right? You know, she doesn't see herself reflected in the world very much. Um, but it was striking and horrifying and sadly reinforcing. Um, the average woman, the average woman, has 13 self-hate thoughts each day. 13 thoughts of self-hate. Well, for my daughter, they've apparently started at a very young age. 80% of women feel shame after three minutes of leafing through a beauty book. Shame. Uh, three of the most common mental health problems amongst girls, which is say those under 18, depression, low self-esteem, and eating disorders are linked to the presentation of girls in the media. Eating disorders, by the way, have the highest mortality rate of all mental illnesses. And eating disorders sit at the far end of a continuum that starts with the nine-year-old girl or boy who says, I don't want to go to the beach because I don't want to put on a bathing suit. 60% of girls under the age of 15 do not do something they love because they're afraid of how they look. The least horrible part of the problem is there, which is I don't like myself. I have a moment of self-doubt. That's the least horrible. There's death on the other side, and in between are depression, anxiety, and stress. And depression, anxiety, and stress manifest amongst kids into alcohol abuse and sexual promiscuity and bullying and uh, cutting and other emotional and physical harm and suicide. And we got a real problem here. It's such a big problem that the biggest medical organizations in this country, the American Medical Association, put out a Photoshop policy and basically begged the advertising industry to reconsider their ubiquitous use of this practice because of what it was doing to people. And do you know what the advertising industry said? That. They said nothing. And they did worse because they kept doing the same thing. And it needs changing because this is my daughter more recently, and they grow up quickly. The older she gets, the less control and influence her mother and I have. We used to be the only two voices. Now she has her friends, she has her friends' parents, she has her classmates, she has her teachers, she has the school administrators, and we all, you all are helping to raise my children, for better or worse. Um, we all are in this together. And we're not gonna win at all or as quickly if you don't join in. And since we're like-minded, can't we do this together? So it's, you know, write about it, tweet about it, use your platforms, be the distribution, distributor of it, the content creator of it. You know, there's a big movement towards healthy media. You know, films like Misrepresentation and now Mask You Live In. I know many of us feel the same way, and if we can all microact collectively and or individually, uh, maybe we can change it. And you know, what choice do we have but to be hopeful? Because it would really suck if we didn't have even that. So that's uh, that's the end of that.